and just a refresher on what we did last week. So we made this little animation. You can click to go to different pages. Okay. So an extension of that, we're going to turn the Snow White piece into something a little bit more interesting and interactive. I'm going to, on the Mac. I'm going Alt Command C. Um, on your PC, it might be Option Command Control C. So I'm going to copy over these frames. Alternatively, you can right click and go Copy Frames. Go back to Snow White. I'm going to double click to go inside this bottom piece of leaves here. And I'm going to add a new layer. And um, Alt Command V or Alt Control V, depending on which, if you're on a PC or a Mac. I'm going to add a new keyframe, F6. And I'm going to add another one. F6. So this is going to be my overstay. So remember this from last week, I hope. And I'm just adding in a few keyframes and just moving the leaves up and down with my my arrow keys. Nice and easy. And I'll just copy the last one. So Control Alt C. I'll insert blank keyframe and control alt v to paste in place these are just some stop actions for those that haven't seen this code before here and here so I'm just setting up this movie clip so the idea is that on the upstate the button will be here and then on the overstate we'll have our leaves move so I'm just going to go out to the overstate a new keyframe and I also want it to do a little bit of animation as you're mousing out. Whoops. I want to make sure that this last one is the same as my upstate, so I'm just going to copy it, Control C, and I'll delete that. Control Shift V, oh, Control uh, Control Command V, sorry, and I'll paste it in place to make sure that the last one and the first one are the same. Okay, so we've got our basic setup here. If you wanted to, you could have different motion tweens or shape tweens in here. I've gone for um, frame by frame animation. I tested it before, and yeah, with the setup that I've got, 12 frames a second, it it seemed to look nice. So I um, I've left it at that. Okay, over here, and we've got this setup. I'm going to go to scene one, copy that code. So to start with, we just want to have the the mouse over and mouse out events. So paste them back in here. Of course, we want to change this. So we're dealing with the bottom leaves at the moment. So we want the the event listeners we want flash to listen out for the bottom leaves movie clip and when they hear an action we want them to perform these functions down here that we've defined. The E current target function is great because it means we don't need to create all these custom functions for our buttons. We can just have a small amount of code that deals with um, uh, our mouse over and mouse out for all of our buttons. Okay, so I can have a list of all different buttons here that Flash is listening out for, and then Flash will work out which button we are hovering over or which movie clip we're hovering over. So let's just save our file and I'm going to test that. So if we mouse over this, hey, there's our little leaves and it shakes when I go away and it drops off completely. So let's fix that. So that doesn't look too good. So I'm just going to extend this a little bit more. And I'm going to get rid of these keyframes here. Remove them. 
just to clean it all up. Save that, test my movie again, shake it a bit, yay, cool. All right, so that's the idea, that's the little leaf animation that I want to create. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the other ones. Um, you might want to muck around with creating some sort of animation for this sign. I was thinking maybe it could just fall over um, or something to indicate that you can go on or maybe you'd like to have an arrow come up when you mouse over and then click and you go to the next scene. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. So that's pretty much it for now guys. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of your classes. Bye.